my name is Miki Hattori. I'm from JAMSTEC in Japan. I'd like to talk about the impact of radio sound observation of cold surge in the Philippine Sea in December 2012. This is observing system experiment using ensemble data uh, assimilation system. The East Asian cold surge is the cold air outbreak originating from the Siberian Mongolian high in the boreal winter. The cold surge leads to a steep rise in the surface pressure with strong northerly wind over the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea and affect the convective activity. Lab 1985 shows that the cold surge in the winter hemisphere causes zonal pressure gradient near the equator and it influences the de development of the tropical cyclone in the summer hemisphere. And my previous study shows that the cold surge causes much precipitation over the maritime continent. In particular, cold surge and MJO combined pattern causes a much greater precipitation than either MJO or cold surge alone. However, it is difficult to show the uh, specific propagation process of the influence from cold surge and the impact on other regions, especially the southern hemisphere, has not uh, clarified well. So the present study investigated the impact of radio sound observation of cold surge by OSE. At first, I'll explain about our observation. The radio sound observation were conducted during the research vessel Hakomar cruise in late December 2012. 6 to 12 hourly moving observation was performed from 23 to 24. And three hourly uh, fixed point observation had performed 30 times from 24 to 26. This figure shows the ocean surface wind from Windsat. Left is time latitude cross section of the meridional wind speed and wind, direction, uh, wind vector average between 110 and 140 degrees east. It's including South China Sea and the Philippine Sea from the December 1st to the end of December. During the observation period from 23 to 26, the cold surge uh, developed strongly and uh, spread widely to the south. Light figure shows the three-day average northerly uh, meridional wind and wind speed at their UTC on 26. Strong north northwesterly wind blew from the Eurasian continent to the Sea of Japan, and the northwesterly changed to the northeasterly after crossing the Japan and reached to the Philippines, and even the Indonesian maritime continent. This is a TBB from MTSAT and GS map precipitation. Cloud streak appears distinctly over the Sea of Japan and the Pacific Ocean. And convective cloud of tropical cyclone in the Western Pacific, TCW25, it has developed and cut across the central island of the Philippines. And furthermore, convective activity over the maritime continent is significant. After that, the tropical cyclone in the southern hemisphere, numbered four, five, and six are developed one after another. According to the Madden Julian Oscillation Index of Australian Government Bureau of Meteorology, the phase of MJO was active over the maritime continent and the Western Pacific from the end of December to January. So, so the observation has conducted in the beginning of active phase of convective activity convection, uh, MGO convection uh, over the maritime continent. Now I explain about our uh, OSC. Observing six system experiment were performed using RDAS-2, FS, LAT, KF ensemble data assimilation system. The model utilized in this study is FS, as, uh, AGCM for a simulator. The resolution is 119 about 100 kilometers in horizontal and 48 levels in the vertical. Total of 63 ensemble members are calculated with a localization length of 400 kilometers in horizontal and 0.4 NMP for log pressure coordinate in the vertical with a fixed inflation parameter of 10%. In RDAS2, the observational data are prepared from NCEP buffer for every six hours. OSA period is 
from 23 to 27 December 2012. During the observation, the data were not transmitted through GTS, so that it's not included in a brick buffer. So the data set without the additional radio sound observation is referred to control, and the data set with the additional radio sound observation is referred to KH. KH is abbreviated name of Hakomar. These figures show the analysis ensemble mean of the meridional wind and wind vector at 925 hectopascal for uh, at 12 UTC on 26 December over the maritime continent and to the east of the Australia for KH and KH minus control reference. In the bottom figures, only the difference at the 90% were greater statistical significance levels are shown. The black dot and black circle indicate the uh, location of the tropical cyclone and the region within a 500 kilometer radius of the center of the cyclone. According to the KH minus control reference, the northern surge around the Philippines and the Indonesia <coughs> Uh, modified stronger by the simulation. And to the west of Australia, the northerly wind to the north of TCS 4 and 5, and the southerly wind to the south of TCS 4 and 5 are modified stronger. And these are for meridional wind. Uh, in the region around 5 degrees south, the westerly wind uh, uh, corresponding to the MJ over dominant and the TCW25 and TCS6 are located in the region of strong zonal wind, wind shear between uh, MJ of history and uh, history composed of cold surge and equatorial history. By the KH minus control difference, the westerly wind seems to be intensified in the south of equator and around the Philippines. These figures are at 925 hectopascal for KH and KH minus control difference. Uh, the difference of the central vorticity of the tropical cyclone indicate that their cyclonic circulations are intensified by the simulation. However, the difference of KH minus control is not so large and a uh, little bit noisy. So the present study estimates the impact of observation using uh, how much the uh, ensemble spread changes. These are in, this is the image of the distribution of analysis ensemble mean indicated by the arrow dot and the ensemble spread indicated by many bars in control and the KH at the uh, same grid point. <laughs> Since the difference of ensemble mean and the difference of ensemble spread are not the same, so uh, even if the difference of ensemble mean is not noticeable, the difference of ensemble spread can be large. So the impact, uh, because the growing rate, uh, because the time evolution of the ensemble spread depends on the different growing rate of ensemble perturbation in association with uh, disturbances. So the an analysis ensemble spread is useful to represent the temporal and spatial um, distribution of analysis error, uh, which is co and co insist co consistent with actual phenomena. So the impact of observation is estimated by the error reduction rate of the error reduction rate in KH is uh, quantified by the change rate of uh, ensemble spread between the control and KH like this. This is the error reduction rate of, of meridional wind uh, between 1,000 and 100 hectopascal average from 21 UTC on 23 to 0 UTC on 27 December. Largest impact has appeared around observation and uh, impact on the tropical cyclone uh, TCW25, TCS, and TCS4, 5, and 6 are also significant. The, the region with the error reduction rate of more than 5% is uh, very broad in comparison with the previous OSC studies using same, uh, using same assimilation system. This is a result of 
uh, not, uh, previous OSC using RDAS2. The nine radio sound observations were added every day during one month over the Philippines and uh, in, uh, Vietnam. And the strong impact spread from, uh, from South China Sea to the south of Japan. Compared to the previous study, the present experiment is very small with a shorter period and less observation. However, impact spread widely over the maritime continent and the Pacific Ocean in the North and Southern Hemisphere. This figure shows the uh, time variation of the spreading impact. At first, impact has appeared around the observation, and then impact has jumped onto the convective region over the maritime continent and 40 degrees south. And after that, each impact became larger over time. Uh, so the TCW25 is very close to the uh, Hakomar, but the uh, observation uh, impact, large impact had appeared later. This figure shows the uh, latitude and height cross section of the error reduction rate and uh, streamline for the vertical and meridional wind averaged between 100 degree east and 170 degree west. At zero UTC on 24, the impact has appeared only around uh, 25 degree north near the observation. At zero 06 UTC, the impact has spread widely to the southern hemisphere through the lower re levels. And uh, however, the, not only the observational region, but at the region between equator and 10 degrees south, uh, strong impact has appeared much up to much higher levels. According to the streamline, the upward current of the local hard circulation is located between equator and 10 degrees south. And the northern and southern subsidence of the local hard circulation is located around 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south. And on 25 December, in these three regions, the much uh, stronger impact has, has developed up to much higher levels. And after that, large impact around the tropical cyclone or strong depressions uh, appeared later. This temporal change shows the uh, spreading process of the impact. That is, uh, uh, at first, uh, upward very upward current and subsidence of local hard recirculation is first remodulated and after that the uh, from bottom to the up and after that the tropical cyclone or strong depressions are modulated. So it is supposed that the stronger impact are considered to be caused by strengthening of sparse observation over the ocean and uh, strong response from tropical cyclones associated with active phase of MJO and uh, caused by widespread response from the stable large-scale high pressure system like cold surge. And uh, it is suggested that spatial representativeness of the, an observation in broad high pressure system should be larger than that in uh, intense uh, but com compact low pressure system. Okay, so I will summarize the impact of radio sound observation of cold surge. The northerly surge around the Philippines and the Indonesia uh, were modified stronger. The cyclonic rotation for tropical cyclone were more intensified, even for the cyclone at 40 degrees south. The analysis error were reduced by 1 to 10% over the maritime continent and the Pacific Ocean in the northern and southern hemisphere. And the uh, impact of the cold surge observation propagated immediately through the local hard recirculation. And large impact were deepened around the tropical cyclones later. These results suggest, suggest that the cold surge could affect large scale circulation, including cyclones in the tropics and the mid latitude region in the southern hemisphere. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much, kind attention. Thank you.